What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Cooler Final Form. And so here we have Cooler posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Cooler does come with two different head sculpts. We do get the head sculpt where he has the face guard on, which looks really nice. And then we do get a head where he doesn't have the face guard at all. Cooler also comes with several sets of hands. We do get a pair of fists, a pair of splayed open hands, a pair of clinching hands, and then a pair of hands for using the death ball or the death beam. He also comes with two pairs of feet. He does come with a pair of flat feet, and he comes with a pair of feet where he can grasp something. Other than that, Cooler doesn't come with anything else. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually move on to his details. And so here we have a closer look at the SH Figure Arts Cooler, and I have to say, Bandai has done a really good job with Cooler here. Cooler is my second favorite non-canon Dragon Ball villain. If you wonder who my favorite is, it is Janemba, which I really hope we do see a figure of him down the line. But having a look at Cooler here, he is very impressive. Now, I do want to iterate that he is lacking some paint. One thing about Cooler is he has a lot of really nice details. You can see right here on his crest that he, that he has a lot of nice little details right there. But unfortunately, they're not painted. I would have loved to see all these little lines etched in, painted with a black wash. That would look so much better than just having the natural light catch it. I don't know, I think that's one thing I really wish Bandai would do is start adding some uh, effects to these figures, especially when they have etch marks. Cooler here would look so much better if these etch marks were actually done in black. And I think that would look so much cooler. But anyway, having a look at his head, really good job here done by Bandai. You can see he does have the mouth guard right here, which looks very nice. I am very impressed by it. The eyes are this really nice red and they do look very menacing. I do like it, although they do seem a little close together. You really don't notice it too well, too much when you have his head tilted down. That looks perfectly fine. We do have his um, chrome, his dome right here, in this really nice shiny blue, or not blue, but it's like an indigo color. It's almost like a blue purplish hue. I do like that. So yeah, really do like his head sculpt right here. Moving on to his body, they did a fantastic job with his body. Again, if these etch marks were actually painted, that would look so much nicer. But as it stands, it still looks really good. The sculpt is solid. I definitely love the sculpt work here on Cooler. Very, very nice design. And I think Cooler has one of the coolest designs in Dragon Ball Z, especially for the non-canon villains the back you can see he does have his back spikes right there the division in his plating right here more of those etch marks which again if they had just painted it this would be a much nicer figure but as it stands it's still a very nice figure because he does have some shading here in the musculature especially here on the purple bits which that's a really very very nice detail it does highlight all those muscles right there we do have some more of these uh, shiny bits right here on his arms, which are done in that same uh, indigo color, which looks really nice. Having a look at his body, he is very slim and bulky, and that's pretty much how he was, which I think that adds to his design. It looks very cool. And one thing I do like about Cooler is they did what I've been saying they should do with the Saiyan armor, Frieza Force armor, is attach it to the butterfly joint because Cool is a, um, it's not really a shoulder pad, it's like a plate, a sh shoulder plate or something is attached to the butterfly joint and when you move that around, it does move nicely and it does add some articulated play. If you were to have attached that to the torso and just made it move up and down, that would severely limit articulation, but they did the right thing in making this part of the butterfly joint, so that does get out of the way. Really, really nice design right there. And then moving on, unfortunately Cooler being a bear figure, and I do mean bear because they really don't have much to work with in terms of his skin. Um, yeah, it, you can obviously see cuts and uh, articulation points in Cooler. There's really no way they could have made that level and still give him as much articulation as he does. I did run into a problem where his 
hips and his abdomen don't really work too well. If you move his abdomen a little too much, you start to notice that it does limit articulation. If you have his abdomen any other way, you can see it starts clashing in with itself, which is a little bit unfortunate. If it moves out of the way, it does move further. So yeah, and that's, as you can see, I can't move it back down because his hip is actually caught on his abdomen piece. If you move the abdomen piece a little bit, that does free up the joint. So yeah, it's a very, um, rough design right here they didn't have a lot of space to work with which is unfortunate but going down again we have some really nice shading here in his muscle muscular legs and then again these um they're not armor bits but i'm going to call them armor bits right here look really nice especially with this sheen right there that looks very nice cooler looks and feels like a premium figure so i really do like it then we would go on to his tail which his tail has these very nice wrinkles, although mm, I gotta say his tail wrinkles seem a little phallic, if that makes any sense, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, his tail does seem a little phallic, especially with all the wrinkles in it, but it does go on to the tip of the tail, which has a white tip. So overall, this figure looks and feels like a premium figure, and that's one thing I really do like about the premium Bandai figures. When we get figures like this, it feels like we got a premium figure and our money's worth. So, with that out of the way guys, let's actually get cooler pose and compare to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have cooler pose next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have cooler pose next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Cooler Pose next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally, here we do have Cooler Pose next to an SH Figure Arts Frieza and an SH Figure Arts Goku. So with the comparisons out of the way guys, let's actually move on to Cooler's articulation. Now Cooler does have a double ball joint at the neck. Now unfortunately because of how his head is sculpted, he doesn't get too much upward movement, which is unfortunate. Uh, he does get some slight head tilt, but it does turn left and right, no problem. We do have another ball joint here at the neck, which does let him look up a little bit further. And then he can look down and ooh, you can hear that squeak. I'm going to have to take some uh, lubricant and just loosen that joint because that sounds terrible. Actually, you know what? That's the ball joint in his head, not his neck joint. Yeah, so that ball joint in his head actually does give him some pretty good range. Mine's just very stiff. I am going to take some lubricant right there and loosen that up. I didn't think he had that much range to be quite honest, but actually he does. So he probably has better side to side tilt but anyway moving on to his articulation he does have a butterfly joint here in his shoulder which does allow his arm to move back and pivot forward which looks really nice and this is one thing i really wish that they would start doing with the freezer force figures is if they have the armor have the shoulder bit attached to the butterfly joint it functions much better and this is the proof of in the pudding but even his shoulder pad here is on a hinge, so it, that does move up and down if you needed to. His shoulder is attached in that butterfly joint via ball joint, so that does drop down, goes up, can pivot forward and back, so that works really nicely. It does go all the way around, no problem. Again, because this does get out of the way, you don't have to worry about it like popping off, so that's really nice. I do like the fact that his arm does go out all the way horizontal, and because it is on a ball joint, you can move it up a little bit higher. We do have a bicep swivel right here, which works really good. Double bend at the elbow, a little better than 90 degrees, but for as beefy as he is, I think that works. We have a ball hinge here at the wrist, which does have an up and down hinge. We can actually rotate that joint to have an in and out hinge, so I do like that, and it rotates on that peg. He has a ball joint here at the torso, which as you can see, he leans forward quite a bit. Leaning back, actually, I think it might be a double. No, it's just a single ball joint, but it does lean back. Leans forward quite a bit, so I do like that. Really nice tilt and then we get some side to side then he has another ball joint here at the waist which combining those two joints you can see he leans back very nicely leaning forward really good he crunches forward which is making me believe that this top joint 
might be a double ball joint and then he does have pivot again when you pivot his abdomen you got to be careful on how you have it because it does hinder leg articulation because if you move his leg up and then crunch him can't really move that leg down you got to really move his abdomen out of the way to bring that leg back down everything just crashes in its into itself right here so you can see not too much outward movement because of how i have him posed but if we do get that out of the way goes out to the side to about right there and uh, again it gets stuck so just be careful about that because it does bunch up right here in his pelvis again forward and back movement we have thigh swivel double bend at the knee not the best knee that we've seen but it's still functional so that works pretty good actually does have rotation here at the foot we have a hinge which goes forward and back then we have forward facing pin for rocker ankle so overall cooler here has an exceptional amount of articulation and as big and beefy as he is it actually works so with that out of the way guys let's actually get cooler pose for my final thoughts oh i forgot his tail his tail has articulation um, it does have a ball hinge here at the tail so it does move up and down you can actually rotate it at the base rotates right here we have another ball joint here at the base of the tail well at the midpoint in the tail so that does move up and down we can rotate it there and rotate it there so really good range on the tail not the cleanest look in terms of sculpt but it is functional so with that out of the way guys finally remembered about the tail let's actually get cooler pose for my final thoughts because he moves around really nicely but what do i really think about him well stay tuned to my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review and so here we have the sh figure arts dragon ball z cooler pose for my final thoughts and overall cooler is a very cool figure pun intended this is a very very nice figure and the guys over at tomashi nations and bandai really did this figure justice cooler is one of my favorite villains and seeing him in action figure form is very very good i am hoping that they do a janemba sometime down the road and do him just as good as cooler because cooler as he stands is one of my favorite SH Figure Arts releases to date. This is a very solid figure. I have not had any balancing issues with the tail, despite the fact he has a tail. He balances very nicely. I can get him in a lot of poses and he stands beautifully and the tail works as a really nice counterbalance. That's something you really don't see too much in figures with tails and normally a joint gets loose here or there. Cooler seems like a very solid figure and everything about him is built very well with the exception of his pelvis piece now i understand going off the model he has a very slender build especially in his waist and there's really no way to have gotten around that without making him gap up like crazy the fact that they designed him the way he is does prevent gapping from being noticed but it does cause his hips to crash into his pelvis or into his abdomen piece and that does cause some joint lock especially when you're trying to move a leg down and the abdomen has it locked in place other than that i still think cooler here is a fantastic figure and one thing i could do without his alternate head normally i don't say that about figures but nobody in their right mind is going to display cooler with his exposed mouth everybody wants the face covering cooler and i would have preferred more hands over the alternate head but that's just me personally guys let me know what you think down in the comments if you are looking for a cooler he was available on premiumbandai.com which unfortunately they did close orders earlier this year so if you get cooler you will have to get him from secondhand market where he's going to be marked up to about double the price that he was i think i paid about 87 dollars for a cooler ship which is a fair price seeing as how he is a much bigger figure this is a very very nice figure and it shows what bandai can do when they actually put effort into these figures which I really do enjoy seeing with that being said guys I'm King of Dragons 5000 don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Dragon Ball and SH figure arts videos hopefully you find them informative as always if there's a figure you would like to see me review let me know down in the comments and if it fits in my collection I'll gladly have a look at it while you're at it check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos and as always Ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. Take care everyone.